Today I'm going to share my experience with this hair that I got from Allie Pearl. I have a 5x5 five 24 five inch body wave wig. 180 density as you can see the lace is HD. Very much skin like and the cap size is medium. Uh, the circumference of my head is 22 and it fits really well. It's actually even a little bit big which is great because I can adjust it. On the inside we have three combs and then we have the adjustable straps to make it tighter. I'm going to show you what I did to the hair of course but first of all I just want to say luscious. One word to describe the hair it would be luscious. The luster, the body, the fullness, the length luscious this hair is buttery it's soft it's airy but it still held a curl now me personally i feel this has to be the most full 180 density i've ever had in a wig like it was so full even straight out the bag which you'll see the length is a 24 it's a true 24 up close so you can see my lace i don't have any baby hair this is hd transparent i actually even saved two pieces because i plan to compare all my wigs with hd lace to this layer. it looks good with makeup without makeup it's flat super thin but not thin to like where it's um i was about to say stretchy to where it'll rip i tweeze my knots and bleach my knots and i had no problem at all with the lace body wave is my favorite out of all of them all the textures but when i straightened this hair i did not want to curl it and i said to myself what kind of video would this be if I'm showing a body wave wig straight. And I love how it looks curled, but when it was straight, I was so impressed because usually straight hair, you know, especially body wave hair or curly hair, when you do straighten it, it'll be lengthy. This was not like that. It was full. It was not see-through. I hate see-through hair, especially long, long hair, um, long straight hair. I did not like that. It's not see-through. It is full. It's given body. It moves with me. Like, this hair really, really impressed me. I prefer a glueless closure over a glueless frontal. It's easier, it transitions better from day to night, special occasion to every day. And it just makes a lot of sense if you do want to go glueless. Now with that, you have to know, we can't put our hair up in a high bun, space buns half up, half down. It's a closure and we still have to make sure that it's secure. You did not have to bleach the knots but I wanted to just to make my wig look a little bit more realistic I put it on my mannequin head so you can see what I'm doing I use a BW2 powder and a 30 volume developer I did one scoop of powder and two capfuls of the developer these knots bleached super fast if i would have walked away like i usually do this wig would have been burnt up okay let me not say burnt up <laughs> it would have been over process and i would have had to do a lot of work this is a good thing though it means that the knots aren't super thick and they're easy to process so just make sure you watch them to shampoo my hair i use this shampoo that I had on hand, the Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine. And then I use my purple conditioner. Sometimes I use the purple shampoo, but I can't shampoo all the hair with the purple shampoo, so I just use the conditioner and only put it on the lace. And this is how my knots are looking after bleaching. Bleaching the knots, by the way, is a preference. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You don't have to do it because as you can see, the before knots look really nice. I wanted to pluck my hairline a little, which again is optional. It is pre-plucked, so if you do want to do it, it's great because you don't have to do a lot. And they've already started for you. Since the knots are super thin, this was easy as well. I didn't pull a hole in it. And I ended up doing this fairly quick. And this is all the hair that I ended up pulling out. I 
went ahead and parted it down the middle and I'm putting foundation on it. I let it air dry. That's what you didn't see. I let it air dry and then I went over it roughly with the flat iron. I'm putting my foundation. It's just leftover foundation on this brush and that's just going to make it blend in better with my skin. And this is how it looks when it was straight and I loved it so much. It was so pretty straight, but I had to curl it for the video. This is how the laces look. Look at that lace. It's practically invisible. And this is on camera. And might I add, my camera is pretty good. And that lace looks beautiful. Doing a new little technique with my um, cutting. It's like back and forth instead of the zigzag. It's pretty much the same outcome though. And I did cut the lace very close. When I first saw the lace completely cut, I was so excited because it looked so good. I cut very closely too because I knew I didn't want to do baby hair. I did not even want to show it just for the video because I love how it looks without it. I'm taking the smallest amount of glue. This is the Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. I'm not trying to glue the wig down. I'm just trying to make it tacky so that the lace has something to stick to. You'll see that it's still glueless. I can still lift it up. Lay it down, move it left, move it right if I needed to, but it's just going to be a little bit of tack. And you see, still glueless, it's just a little tacky. And to take it off at night, um, I would just put some alcohol on a cotton pad and wipe my forehead. Now this is the hair straight. I curled it off camera because I always do the same exact thing, which is use my waving wand. This is the hair straight, 24 inches, 180 density. I did trim it um, to make it even all the way across. But yeah, I went ahead and curled it off camera. I do the same thing every single time. I use my wand to make my curls. I keep it pretty simple. And this is how it's looking. The comb is sliding right up under there. My hair is not sticky. It's not going to be a mess when I lift it up and take it off. There's not going to be anything on the lace. Because you saw how much I put down. Again, this hair is from Ali Pearl. The information will be in my description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.